Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. In this video, I am going to discuss about uh, how to create a data frame from the uh, XML file. Okay, so I am going to use the uh, the DataBricks XML connector. Okay, so this DataBricks XML connector is uh, not coming by default with the uh, the Spark distribution. Basically, you need to add the dependency whenever you build the application. Either you build uh, using a, a, a Scala API or PySpark API. So basically, you need to add this dependency. So uh, this is the uh, DataBricks official, uh, uh, basically the GitHub uh, uh, repository for this uh, uh, Spark XML connector. Okay, so you can just verify uh, what version of you want to use it for uh, respective Spark version. So I'm going to use it for latest version. So I just you can Google the uh, Spark XML uh, uh, connector. Okay, so basically it will come. You can the Maven repository. You can find this link. Okay, so I take this dependency. Okay, uh, com DataBricks is a, a, a group ID and this is artifact ID Spark hyphen XML and the latest version. I'm going to use it. So let me explain you with the program. Okay, so I will close this. Okay, this is my uh, Scala uh, SPD based Scala project. Okay, so uh, I'm being I'm actually building the a video series for the spark data frame uh, practical tutorial okay so we saw previous videos how to build the data frame using different uh, uh, file system like csv json and nested json like that so now we are focusing on the xml so this is the uh, program i written for uh, this xml file reading and convert to the data frame okay, let me show you the sample file okay so this is the xml file which i took okay so this is going to contain the user information okay so if you see the xml tag you will have a, a opening tag okay then you will uh, end uh, uh, this root tag okay this is a root tag so you'll have opening tag and ending tag okay and also i have a, a so multiple uh, so basically you will have a, a root tag inside that you will have a, a multiple uh, repeating tags right so when i say repeating it's you can think this as a row tag so this this we can represent as a one row like uh, this contains user information about particular user like user id one and uh, john, user name is john and city is london okay so similarly if you look at the say example uh, books if you are actually capturing the uh, book details in the xml so you will have a uh, books as a root tag and uh, each book information as a one uh, uh, row tag or child tag right so if if this is the structure okay so there is a root uh, uh, tag where there is a uh, child tag which which gets repeated so we can represent uh, each information as one row in our data frame that's how we want to plan it so how this uh, xml connector is planned is so you need to when you use this uh, uh, spark xml connector okay so basically you need to provide the uh, 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 when you reading the uh, a file from uh, sorry data from the xml and uh, make the data frame you need to provide the row tag so that it will consider that particular tag as uh, uh, contains information about uh, uh, the respective rows okay so if you provide a user as a row tag so it will consider every uh, user tag is one row so this is one row uh, this is second row for the user this is third row for the user three like that okay so let me walk through the program so uh, as like typical uh, uh, spark uh, uh, spark application using a uh, scala so i just imported the uh, dip, uh, this is the package i created and there are dependency classes i need to import which is a spark session object and uh, these are the uh, uh, to, to create a, a schema i use this integer type struct type other type so this is the uh, package we need to import it Okay, com dot databricks dot spark dot xml dot underscore. So it will come all the classes from that particular uh, package. So this is a mandatory package unit import. Uh, and apart from this, this is a uh, Scala based. Uh, sorry, this is the uh, object uh, Scala Scala object class, and it has main method where we can we put all our Spark code. So first time creating a Spark session object and setting the log level as uh, to show only the errors. Then uh, I just provided the uh, XML uh, file path. Okay, it is placed in my uh, local directory. So if it is HDFS or your Linux directory, you just have to change the path. And then how we are reading it? Spark session object dot read dot 
option of you need to provide this row tag i told you know uh, so whichever is the repeating uh, tag inside a root tag that you can consider as a row tag okay so then uh, we provide row tag this property in the option uh, uh, property we provide this key as row tag and value as user dot xml of this xml file bar so this will give you the data frame so let me run and show you this uh, there are two approach i took one is this approach another approach will provide the schema and we'll try to read so let's see the first uh, output first approach output so it is going to create the i am using the uh, the master url for this application is local so it is going to build this uh, uh, local uh, application and it is going to run this executors um, it will be creating this fast session object then uh, it will be uh, reading the xml file so uh, ignore the second approach first see the first approach so in the first approach you see this uh, uh, output data frame okay so each row is considered uh, each the row tag which provided it's considered as a row okay this is one row the martin uh, username is a second row and uh, sam username is third row like that but you see this uh, the column is actually here we given the order is user id username city but it is not coming in the correct order in the same order i say okay so if you want to get the same order you can actually define a schema and you can provide it is when you are reading the xml file that's what i am doing it in the second approach so in the second approach we are going to define a, a user schema uh, so you schema how can you define how can you define a schema so basically using a stack type so it's stack type will have an array of stack fields so each stack field represents one uh, column so user id and type is integer type and is a nullable column yes true when i say true is a nullable column so similarly you define for other columns so like user name and user city now when you read the uh, xml file apart from providing the uh, row tag as user you provide the schema of the user schema which you defined in this step so then it will try to uh, read this xml file based on the schema you provided as well as the row tag so let me run this program again this time in the second approach it will give you the um, column name uh, in the same order how we defined in the uh, basically it's the same with the same order we are actually we define the schema so it is going to get the same order see here so in the approach to it got the user id as a first column and user name is second column is as a third column. okay so and it is showing this as integer as well here it, it was showing a long it as it is inferred by itself it did not provide anything okay so this is how you can actually read the xml file okay i hope this video is helpful in the next video i will explain you how to get the uh, uh, how to read the uh, nested xml okay and uh, prepare the data frame or create the data frame thank you so much friends see you in the next video